it's Sony Sports Park for Fiji City Lighter Fastnet Grand Prix and Storm have just been crowned Southern Champions. How does it feel? Um, obviously it's really exciting to be crowned the Southern Southern Champions. Um, it was a big day today. I know it's the first game out and I said to the girls, absolutely no pressure, but I still still wanted to win. So it was really nice for them to come out and actually get the victory. Um, we made hard work of it at times, but you know you can't ask for more. Four games, four victories. Um, today was your um, first competitive match in charge of Storm and so you've won, already won your first piece of silverware, how does it feel? Yeah, it's nice to have that first piece of silverware under, under our belt for the season. Obviously my big challenge is the Super League, that's what I want. I won the title and I said that to the girls. We definitely aren't going to be the finished article at the start here and if we are, I don't expect them to win the league. So it was quite nice to see that there's things to work on. But obviously to get that first one we're about to go in confident to the season is a really, really big plus. Cool. Um, so you're now going to Friday's finals night. Uh, how do you rate Storm's chances on Friday? Friday's going to be a really big night, playing against um, Thunder, who were crowned victorious up there, and the Jets. Obviously, we've seen a lot of Celtic. I was lucky enough to go up there, and I did some work in the Sky Studio for that tournament. So I've had a look at the teams. I've seen what we've got to work on. I'm really happy with the tactics we put out there today. I think ours are very different to some of the others flying around. Um, and it obviously worked, because we went through as champions. So I think it'd be tough on Friday, but I think it'd be nice to get out there and play against definitely Thunder and see where we're at. Cool. Um, today's Fastnet competition was a sellout. Um, what do you think that says about Fastnet as a competition? It was great to have um, a sellout crowd down here. I don't think we're ever going to struggle because we have so many fans and so many supporters and just so many mad netball people that want to come along and watch. So it's fantastic for that, but it's also nice for the Fastnet. You hear them get all involved with the crowd when the one in the three pointers and the power play. I think they were quite frustrated with the way we were playing the ball around today, but it, it's nice, you know, it gets them involved and it keeps them excited. Uh, you talk about Fastnet um, as a new format. Um, do you prefer Fastnet as a, as a format? I definitely don't prefer Fastnet. Um, I know it's fine, but it, it's one of those tough ones. If you look at all the Super League scores at half time from last year, they're very close, and, and 24 minutes isn't a lot of time to win a game. So you have to be really composed. So there's parts of the game that it really helps, but it's also one of those those lucky games as well. If someone lands a couple of three pointers, they're right back in the mix. So I'd, I'd say it's tougher at times, um, but I still prefer the real netball. Cool. And um, so do you think Fastnet has changed netball, or is there still a place for? I think uh, there's definitely um, still a place for, for netball. I think that's the game that we all know and we all love. What I love about Fastnet is it keeps it competitive, it keeps it real close. It brings different aspects into the game. I'd like to see a few more changes where maybe centre court could shoot as well because that would change the dynamics. But it's definitely a game you could take forward. Just think of Rugby Sevens or 2020 cricket. It keeps the crowd involved. It may be something you could look at putting it in the Olympics. You know, I think teams could, re um, different countries could come on board and, and really play the game and actually make it tactically um, different to the game of netball. And so do you think Fastnet will help promote, promote netball as a participation sport? I think the Fastnet competition definitely helps netball. Of course, you know, it's a, it's a different competition. I know so many people that come along and love the fact you can shoot from outside the circle. It's one of the biggest questions you get asked from guys. What, you can't shoot outside the circle? So it's quite nice to do that. The power plays, again, keep it exciting. Um, the end-to-end -end stuff, the fact that the team always gets the ball back. Like, it, it is different, and I think it keeps the crowd involved because, to be honest, everybody wants to see goal-for-goal -goal games. Cool. And finally, um, today's competition was held at Surrey Sports Park. What do you think of it as an event and training? Event? Um, Surrey Sports Park is excellent. It's been great to, to have Surrey Storm here. They've really taken them on board and looked after the franchise. And um, It's such an amazing venue. I think everybody that comes down here is so surprised at how fantastic it is when you walk in. The event that we put on and all the staff that work behind the scenes to do that have been absolutely incredible. And I think we're really pushing forward commercially as, as a franchise and really showing the others how, how an event should be run and, and the venue and the facilities you want to play in. Brilliant. All right. Congratulations. Good luck on Friday. Thank you.